hello my friends uh, today I'd love to show you <clears throat> plum trees uh, how to you know prune it basically in a vase shape <clears throat> so this is a plum tree right here this one's like four years old uh, right here and I've been doing spring and summer pruning so when the shoots grow up new uh, New shoots come out, I prune them if they're too long. And uh, they split up into three or two new ones <clears throat> uh, in the same season. So here are the three plum trees that I have. And here's another plum tree. I've uh, transplanted that one from another place and this one as well. So this one was missing half the tree so I'm trying to grow a bunch of new branches on it and then I'll go clean it up in there. Um, also tried grafting in the middle of the summer. And it uh, doesn't seem like it took. Um, these these are shaped this way because I want to keep them as low as possible keeping the center open but the sides uh, I keep kind of you know pretty pretty thick on the sides because it does get enough sun in the middle to dry out and then the sides get scraggly and grow uh, you know on these fruit branches so I wanted to show how they grow so on, on the stone fruit that has a pit you know plums uh, peaches apricots uh, even uh, almonds you know nuts that has a pit they all uh, they all grow in cherries they all grow on the first and second year uh, wood so on the like kind of on the first year and the base of the second year um, you know shoot that grew out so these ones if you don't prune this you know you might get fruit on it uh, and then you'll get three branches on the very tip kind of like what happened here or two here so let's say if this if this was pruned right there you'd get branches from it here so it'll be a lot closer but this this now becomes um, you know kind of bare and then the the wood moves over to the edge so everything's trying to grow further out and then if you don't cut it back it's just going to be extremely uh, long and you know undesirable uh, shape of a tree so what I do is typically to, to create since the, the fruit grows on first and second year wood we need a lot of new growth to promote you know fruiting because if you if all you do is if you actually cut this out completely you know you're not gonna get any fruit but you'll get new growth here that will produce fruit next year but if you cut those out as well you won't get any fruit so if you're cutting out uh, first and second year wood if you're cutting everything back you know there uh, you might get fruit on that little stick there and that one but you're not going to get anything out here so keep in mind that the fruits on first and second year wood uh, so what i do is i'll cut it back like you know six inches or so and then cause you all well, actually this one's not bad uh, but if it splits directly into two or has a central leader I cut that off as well so here's another one uh, I'll cut it back here to the outer outer uh, bud there and this long one that goes upwards I can either cut it out completely or cut it up a little bit and cause a few more branches to grow out you know sideways um, typically I leave a little stump but I can just cut it here at this point and you know kind of go through and do that on all of them if it's a really short one if it's less than you know eight inches i just leave it because uh, it'll produce fruit on it so like right here this one has a branch that goes out that way and it's stronger than these so you know the all the flow of uh, energy is going to go to the center one push out new shoots and not as much up here so what i want to do is cut this off 
and that way it splits into two weaker ones rather than there and then this one it's going to be fruiting this year uh, might send some shoots up but I'd, I'd rather get rid of still vertical ones uh, at least cut them down and uh, do that on all of these take any, anything out that's you know too long or see what I meant by if you leave the somewhat of a vertical one it grows a new one this way you know kind of off the side of this one um, it doesn't create too much shade in the area like this it's not that's not a lot of shade so they get they all get plenty of sun um, but you have to go through and still you know cut out uh, anything that's getting really thick and really crossing like this one it grows out of the bottom there and it's just it's just too tight so you have to get to it and cut it out uh, it's hard to get to it so it'll go in the bottom here cut it to the edge so it doesn't grow anymore cut it to the ring you can if you want to completely get rid of a branch you know you cut it down to a ring so let's, this one doesn't cut to a ring but I'll show you there's a ring right there which splits this branch from the main trunk so if you actually cut it off you know at the ring right there the tree will grow the cambium layer over it and uh, cover it up see like this was cut to a stump uh, probably in the summer see if any grow but nothing grew out of it so you can actually remove it completely so we'll, uh, grow in if you leave stumps like this you have to trim them back so that way they get to cover cover up with cambium and then uh, anything anything that you see that's rubbing you can remove uh, if it's not rubbing you don't have to remove it I mean because you, you still want fruit but not to a point where it uh, kind of takes over the entire tree if you get too much fruit on the tree it's just going to be small fruit so to, to actually go through and make it um, you know more thinner as far as the amount of branches is good but you cannot also remove more than 30 percent of the tree so if this tree had which actually it had quite a bit of branches I cut out so you can't remove more than 30 percent of the tree so you have to do the next uh, pruning you know next pruning season uh, that's in basically the 30 percent includes spring and summer pruning so and then the next next year you could do another 30 percent because if you over prune or prune more more than you I guess should more than 30 percent the tree goes into um, kind of survival mode and starts putting on a lot of uh, just suckers you know a lot of growth you know because the roots the roots that were supporting this tree are still there they're they're large you know typically past the the drip line which is the outer part of the tree you know tree branches so roots go all the way around there and when you're removing the the branches on top the roots are still large you know they're supporting what's on top and they're gonna want to go back to where they were uh, and they still continue growing you know depending on the so basically the top of the tree or size of it is dependent upon the root system if uh, if a tree you know it's like a dwarf tree the reason it's a dwarf is because it has a weak root it has a small root that's they take a variety and graft it to a weak root or root that's not you know as large so it grows a smaller tree on top uh, if you you know put it, if you take a variety and put it on a very vigorous uh, growing rootstock you know very large root system it's going to grow a large tree so everything on top depends on the bottom so it's like a it's a mirror image and uh, yeah trying to you know I'm trying to keep the, the trees low and if I keep them low I have to have enough vegetation on them you know and then also 
another reason you know for me to have more fruit on it is if, if the you know you kind of have to I guess play around with the tree uh, and see you know how it does but if the root system is very strong you know I can leave a lot more fruit on it uh, and you know foliage around here but there's enough airflow and uh, light that gets in there but in general you know knowing the you know the way the tree grows and fruits uh, is the key to kind of pruning and also how you maintain it this is a garden you know where I don't mow anything and it has material down at the bottom um, so I can have branches much lower out there in the orchard it's a little different I have to keep everything up off the ground because my because of the mower the mower goes through and I don't want to be catching branches so I keep everything above the mowing uh, you know area so I don't catch the the tree branches and fruit and then also knowing that when you get fruit on the branches they're gonna hang down lower um, so I print them kind of in their way out there and in the garden where there's no mowing um, I plant them or I prune them in either a vase shape or an umbrella but even if they start in a vase shape they still I still kind of form them downwards like an umbrella um, afterwards but yeah if you get a lot of growth on these shoots you know don't leave them long because next year you know it's only going to grow one two three maybe four branches out of it and the rest is going to be bare uh, here's a good example this is last year's growth and the growth before so this branch was left from here so from here it grew out the year before to here and it was uh most likely pruned there or left alone and then grew one two uh, branches off of it last summer yeah and this is how long the stem is we don't want it that long unless unless you know, we want it if you left every one of them this long the tree's going to be extremely wide and uh, very flimsy limbs so you want to create your scaffold limbs really strong and thick so keep trimming everything back giving time for the tree to uh, to grow nice strong branches and then having short little shoots with fruit on them uh, that way it doesn't bend anywhere so this is the tree center it's open in the center and you know these are all the shoots so I, I cut them back you know cut them back cut them back so that way first three buds will grow branches one two three maybe four and the rest, you know, will grow uh, fruit on it. And all these are going to be fruiting as well. So it grows these little spiky uh, spurs and then there's fruit on them as well. Uh, so that's, don't cut those off either. Uh, I have a place here on the tree where it's completely like shaded. So this is the north side of the tree and there's a branch on the bottom even though it has a bunch of fruiting uh, you know spurs on it but I want to cut it off because it's it's just too long let me grab some shears so here's the branch growing out it goes up and it's kind of branchy you know here it's a lot of growth and this one's below it completely it's on the north side so I'm gonna just remove it from here get over there to the ring I'll cut that off and then remove it so now it's a lot better um, I could also remove this one right there growing this way it kind of grows downwards so it's probably gonna be all the way down on the material I can remove it probably to here like this. the reason I left some of these lower ones potentially to graft to I feel like a better variety. I can graft down at the bottom and then cut off the top. Uh, but it's just kind of, you know, watch the tree, same thing with these, pointing down too long or too low. And then this one as well, too low. And then this one, cut down here. 
this one. This one grows in the random place. This one is growing in between everything, so I'm gonna cut that off. So you wanna just have a kind of an open open space in the middle of the tree. open space in the middle of the tree and uh, everything else is on the sides here and in between cut off all this small growth it's crossing I kind of quickly went over all these a little earlier and pruned up majority of them because the lack of time because everything is going to bloom and then I'll need to go through and kind of touch things up uh, but I took out the majority of the branches earlier so I wish I could have done it with the video we'll have more to come so I'll go through and do that most of these just kind of prune up little stuff that's crossing or shading way too much but this is plenty plenty of room for for air and, and sun so yeah thank you so much and uh, have a great pruning season if you have any questions let me know uh, what exactly that you need help with and I'll try to figure it out uh, but just to remember all the you know stone fruit that has a pit uh, like plums peaches, apricots, you know, cherries, they all bloom and fruit on the one to two year old wood. On three year, there's nothing on a three year old wood, you know, so if you count back from your growth, you'll see exactly where that is. So all the fruit's gonna be on the outer edges, you know, or in any new growth that grew out, you know, anything that grew out, you know, the year before, uh, in the season before is going to fruit. The rest of it is not going to fruit. It's just going to be bare, bare wood. Unless it grows new branches on it, uh, you know, and then they fruit next year. So to, to promote branch growth, you have to prune. So to cause more branches to grow, you know, uh, out of places you want. Because if you don't, it's only going to grow out on the tips, on the tips of the, you know, last year's growth and it's just going to take the tree way 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 far out and the branches are going to be long skinny and uh, they won't be able to support anything on there so i just take uh the new growth and just cut it back to about eight inch um eight inch branches so if you take let's see like this for example new growth i just go up to outer you know, outer uh, bud and just cut it there, sorry hard to do with the video and then you know same thing here cut it same thing here cut it so cut them back to these little short stubs and there's gonna be fruit on them and the new branching will come out and the tree is gonna stay strong and uh, we'll, we'll produce new fruit new wood for next year so thank you goodbye <laughs>